And so good afternoon from uh, Pinsville, outside Monrovia. And a warm welcome to the USB's Focus on Liberia Online Television. We are live and direct from the Zenith of Liberian Football, the Summer Candle Sports Complex in Pinsville City, outside Monrovia. As you may know today, the nation's prime joy, the Lone Star of Liberia, is going against. Bafana Bafana of South Africa in continuation of the Afghan qualifiers. Liberia played South Africa on the 24th of this month and uh, level of 2 2 in South Africa. And today is the return match. Liberia is playing home as part of our leg 2 of the ongoing Afghan qualifiers. And so we just thought to come out here today to give you a feel of what's happening here at the complex. As you can see, crazy soccer fans are in the queue uh, to make their way into the stadium. And I can see is uh, being perfectly coordinated, moving very smoothly. Liberians are in their national colors, red, white, and blue, all across this Pinsville city, across the summer kind of those post complex as well and so all of you who are coming on it is my pleasure to say good afternoon to you from Pinsville outside Monrovia welcome to the USB's focus on Liberia online television since 2002 Liberia have not played in the African Cup of Nations that is a little over 21 years now and uh, this is another round of qualifiers it is hoped that the nation chart uh, proud and joy sorry will uh, come out victorious from the group stage and of course uh, make it to Côte d'Ivoire next year. And so good afternoon to all of you who are watching. This is it. This is the outside of the summer current post complex in Painsville City, outside Monrovia. You see scores of Liberians. Scores of Liberians here in their numbers. Who are here to support the Lone Star to victory? And just to inform you, His Excellency the President, uh, Ambassador George Manawia, Chief Special Sports, uh, touched down earlier this morning via the Rabat International Airport following his uh, visit to the US and the United Arab Emirates. President Weir will. Never mind for the distraction, President Weir will uh, make his present fill here at the stadium. In a minute from now, you can see uh, EPS security officers are already posted. You see members of the Executive Protective Service already posted. This is an indication that His Excellency President Weir will shortly arrive here at the summer candles post complex to support the Lone Star to victory on today. I went for the Lone Star to put them ahead of the group stage and uh, subsequently a continuous win will see them to uh, La Côte d'Ivoire, the Irish coast for next year's edition of the African Cup of Nations. And so we are here to just provide you coverage of all that is happening here today as far as the match is concerned. The match will kick start at 4 p.m. Liberian time. And so we will bring you up to the minute analysis as the match will start at that time. So if I have a friend to keep glue to focus on Liberia online television, we're doing all we can to bring you we bring you we do all we can sorry to bring you exactly what will happen here today at the summer candles post complex in Pinsville City.
Salsa and Monrovia. Crazy soccer fans in the queue, a very long queue, uh, moving in gradually, making a way to the stadium to cheer the nation's proud and joy, the long style of life area. So maybe you are watching, you can leave your prediction. We will read them out for you, perhaps. We we'll also attempt to speak with our Liberians who are in the queue to give us their own prediction as far as, as, far as the match is concerned on today. So let me just give you the statistics between the both countries. Today is the fourth meeting of uh, the both countries. Never mind for the distraction, folks. Like I was telling you, uh, today is the fourth meeting of the both countries in terms of uh, soccer. The first time the both uh, countries met was in December 2002, December 16, 2002, when Liberia lost to South Africa two goals to one. Uh, it was during the African Nations Cup qualifiers at that time. The soccer meeting was June 3, 2001, when uh, the both countries settled to a one or draw in the African qualifiers as well. The third meeting was recently March 24, 2023. Liberia drew again two goal at peace to the folks of South Africa, Bafana Bafana of South Africa. And today is the fourth meeting. And so we are here to bring you all of the analysis, all of those statistics you need to know about the both countries. So not, 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 not too many edge uh, South, Af South Africa has over Liberia. Uh, the edge is not that big or wide as you would think. Some other would say it's equal. And so we hope that Liberia will increase the talent on today and make history against the Bafana Bafana boys from South Africa. The continent is watching as Liberia uh, go against South Africa on today in the ongoing Afghan qualifying rounds. Second leg, the SKD Sports Complex is coming alive. And we can see Liberians are in the queue, patiently waiting to enter the stadium and cheer their respective teams to victory, or their team to victory, if you will. I'm told the uh, referees of today are from Ghana. The central referee is from Ghana, and one or two uh, assistant referees are also from Ghana. But let's try to speak with Liberians who are in the queue, making their way to the stadium on today. Liberians, the guys are dressed up in their red, white, and blue national colors. Let's talk to them one at a time. Welcome, how are you? What is your name? Yes, my name is Anthony Tate. Yeah. Anthony, Liberia takes on South Africa today in the second leg of the ongoing African qualifying series. What is your prediction? What do you think? I'm um, actually saying my expectation is too strong. And by the grace of God, Liberia will be South Africa 1-0. One 1-0? Zero. One zero. Yes, sir. Who will be the scorer, you think? Well, uh, 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 Lanfor, Lanfor. No, Lanfor is no more playing big. international football. Okay. Yeah, yeah Wilma Jebel. Okay. Jebel. Wilma Jebel. Yeah. Thank you. Let me talk to this brother. Okay. How are you? Welcome. Yeah, welcome. What is the name, sir? Call me Edwin Yoko. I see you in a queue. How long have you been here? Yeah. Since one this afternoon. Yeah. And it's almost four o'clock. Yeah. Excuse me. What's the protection? Gabriel will be 2 0. Who are the scorers? Well done, Jebel. It's called two goals. Well done, Jebel. Yeah. All right. Let's see how it's going to play out. Thank you very kindly. Yeah. Let's talk to another gentleman here. Welcome. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh, how long have you been in the queue? Um, one hour ago. All right. And what's the prediction for today's match? The match is you. Three zero. Bro, yeah. Who, who, who are going to be the scorer? Oscar Tony. And well done, Jebel. Oscar Dolly, William Jebel. Yeah. All right. William Jebel, two goals. Oscar Dolly, one. William Jebel, two goals. Oscar Dolly, one. Exactly. Thank you. All right. All right. Liberians are predicting the match ahead of the official start. Sometimes predictions do come true.
And so we will see how it's going to play out in the final analysis. Like I told you, this is the fourth meeting of the two teams. The first one was in 2000, December 16. The next one was in June 2021. Sorry, that's 2001. I beg your pardon. The third one was in uh, March this year, 2023. The fourth one is in this year as well. This is the second leg of the African qualifying round. Liberia against South Africa. Let's talk to yeah. gentlemen here who are in the queue. Gentlemen, yeah. welcome. How are you? How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? How long have you been in the queue today? Huh? Uh, probably 30 minutes to an hour. All right. And uh, what's the prediction for today's match? Uh, my prediction is 2-0. Two, 2-0. Zero. Two Low, zero. Star. Low star. Yeah. Who do you think will be the scorer? Uh, William Jebo. William Jebo? Yeah. <laughs> and Antonio Tesla. William Jebo and Antonio Tesla. Let's talk to another brother here. I see you with the red, white, and blue. Uh -huh. You look so upbeat. How are you today? Uh, we tell God, thank you. The What's your protection, my man? Uh, my protection, I'm going to win if you two zero. Do you think I'm breaking the feet, the South Africans? Exactly today. Who, who, who do you think will be the scorer? I take my two players. No lads. Let's go. Win this game. Come on, man. Let's go. I take William, William Jabo, and then Tony, Tony Tesla. William Jabo, Tony and Tesla. Yeah. Thank you so much. I see a beautiful lady here. How are you? Wow, well, she's shining away from the camera. <laughs> but it's all fun today, folks. The sun is up, the heat is on, and Liberians are in the queue to support their team to victory. Is that a, a TV station or radio station or generation or anything? Are you recording for a gen uh, radio station or TV station? Or yes, of course. Yourself? This is Focus on Liberia Live. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, this okay. is the U.S. based online television okay. network. That's good, that's good. All right, thank you for coming. Let's move on. Liberians are here. I see our sister here. How are you today? I see you in the queue. You look so serious. It seems like you're too tired, man. You want to go here, right? What's the protection for today? Say that. I see your brother here. How are you? It's a pleasure. Good to see you. Yeah. All your national colors. Yeah. What do you make of the game today? Victory. Yes, sir. Victory. Yeah, victory. What's your prediction? 2-0. Two zero. Two zero. Yeah. Who do you think will be the scorer? Tesla. Tesla. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, we're moving gradually. We are moving gradually. Liberia takes on South Africa on today, like two of the ongoing Afghan qualifying rounds. The first leg and a two goal apiece. And of course, uh, this is the return leg. Liberia again will face South Africa. And I to I'm told the two teams are warming up already, performing their gymnastics. And uh, at 4 p.m. this afternoon will be the kickstart of this all important international showpiece. But let's talk to more and more crazy soccer fans here. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you today? Fine. I see you all dressed up in your national colors. That is the son of patriotism and nationalism. How are you today? How long have you been in the queue? How long have you been in the queue? I've been almost two to three hours now. Two to three hours? Yeah. And uh, what do you make up the match today, Liberia versus South Africa? Second leg. I see myself getting a video today. Victory? How many goals do you think Liberia will win? Two zero. Two zero. Who will be the scorer? Uh, the number two, Tony and Tesla. Yeah. The number two, and that was the William Jabo. All right, William Jabo and Tony and Tesla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm probably going to win the game. Let me talk to you. How are you? Yes, sir. What is the name? My name is Roger. I see you selling your sour milk here today. How is it going? Fine. All right. What's the prediction? La Broga, I went two. Two? Yes. Who will be the scorer? Yes. Who will be the scorer? All right, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, he's, he's all excited. And these things happen at times. But as you can see, the queue is uh, a long one, a very long stretch, moving towards the summer kind of sports compass, the main entrance. And security is in tight. I see a member here of the armed forces of Liberia making sure the guys are in the queue and they were moving properly. So we are just moving ahead just to uh, speak with Liberians and show you exactly what it is in terms of uh, the atmosphere here at the Summer Candle Sports Complex in Pinesville City of San Manuvia. Liberia versus South Africa. Uh, second leg. The first one and a two goal apiece. Liberia managed to secure a draw away. 
uh, in South Africa. Today they are back home. It is uh, hoped that the national team will pull the tricks and defeat South Africa on home soil. And so the fans are here in the queue, uh, moving towards the stadium. Gentlemen, how you guys doing, man? Yeah, how is it going? Yeah, smooth. How long have you been here in the queue? Ah, uh, like one hour now. One hour? Yeah. What is your own expectation today as far as the match is concerned? So, uh, actually, I really think that Lusa will win this game. How many goals? Three goals to one. Three goals to one? Yeah. Who will be the scorers? Well, I would say Jebo will score two. And then, uh, uh, I point the last, the guy who scored the last goal. Tony Antes there. Not the guy who scored the last goal, Sangari. All right. Score one. Mohamed Sangari. Yeah, Sangari will score one. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Another brother is here. How are you? Oh, I'm doing very good. What brother. is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Ibrahim Imane. Labrador takes on Bafana Bafana today in the second leg. What is your take? Yeah, there is a clear manifestation that Labrador went to the, as you can see, the fans are outside and we are hurry much enthusiastic to know that Labrador win this game. So we're going to be the game two goals to zero. Two goals to zero. Yeah. The score us? The score us with Tom, uh, Mame Sankara and we don't Jebu, our Chicago. Thank you so much. Liberians are moving in gradually. It's a long queue. And uh, we have a few minutes to the kickstart of this all important international showpiece. And of course, uh, this is the Ulsa of the summer time those post complex in Pennsylvania City, Ulsa Monrovia. Liberia have not gone to the Nations Cup since 2002, a little over 21 years now. Let's hope Liberia can turn things around and make the difference and be a part of our teams that will uh, reach the tournament in La Côte d'Ivoire next year. Two zero, two zero. How are you? What is your name? My name is Scott. Scott? Yeah. How long have you been in the line, man? Uh, like probably 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yes. Yeah, What's your own prediction today? Yeah, of course. What? Like, we're going to be like 2 zero ahead today for the game. 2 zero? Yeah. Who, who do you think will be the scorer? Uh, the scorer, one from Mohamed Kamara and one from Mohamed Sangari. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Let's see how it's going to play out in the final analysis. Liberians there giving their predictions. And of course, uh, it's often said there is no objectivity in soccer, so <laughs> if you were to see me now, I'm smartly dressed up in the national colors, red, white, and blue. Though I am a journalist, but this is all about country. And somebody will say there is no objectivity when it comes to soccer. Yes, indeed. I'm hoping to pray that Liberia qualify and I'll go to La Côte d'Ivoire next year to form part of the Nations Cup in that neighboring country. It's just next door. And it is highly anticipated that the Lone Star of Liberia will make the difference after 21 years of failing to go to the Nations Cup. The last time we played in the Nations Cup was in Mali, Mali 2002. And so another round of qualifiers ongoing. We hope that uh, Liberia will make the difference. Security is in tight. Members of the armed forces of Liberia are here making sure that all goes well. And the city is packed from the outside. I'm told there are still more spaces in there. It is hoped that uh, every Liberian will uh, make the way in as per the capacity of the stadium. And uh, in a minute from now, His Excellency President George Manuia will be here to see the Lone Star play against Bafana Bafana of South Africa. As a matter of fact, President Weah uh, landed in today via the Rabas International Airport in Maghibi County, outside Monrovia. And uh, President Weah expressed optimism that uh, Liberia will defeat uh, South Africa on today. But we're here, we're watching, we're just picking up all of the bits and pieces for you as far as this match is concerned. And so, wherever you are joining us, whatever you're doing, it is my pleasure to say good afternoon to you. Welcome to Focus on Liberia Online Television, your preferred online television network. This is the US based as a matter of fact. And of course, my name is Theo Williams. We are live from uh, the zenith of Liberian football. The summer Canada Sports Complex in Queensville City of Samanovia. All I can see is the national colors, red, white, and blue. Liberians are just up.
Africa leg like two of the ongoing African qualifiers and there are indications that His Excellency President we will shortly arrive here at the Samarkand Post Complex. You can hear the wailing of the siren in the background that tells you that President Weah will be here very shortly. All right, this is an ambulance uh, making its way to the stadium just in case of uh, anything. Like I was telling you earlier on, there are indications that His Excellency President Weah will arrive here at the stadium very shortly. President Weah landed this morning via the Ramos International Airport following his international visit to the U.S. and that of the United Arab Emirates. And so, as you can see, the main route is uh, already clear. And uh, very shortly, His Excellency President Weah and Interraj will arrive here at the Summer Candles Post Complex in Queensville City of San Monrovia. You're watching the US-based Focus on Liberia online television. We go places where others can afford to reach. We give you all the best in one package. That's why you just compete us to say join us. So let's together make it better and interactive. It's a sunny day in Monrovia, folks. Sunny day in Liberia, Painesville City. And of course, Lone Star will battle the guys from South Africa, Bafana Bafana, in the ongoing Afghan qualifiers. The first leg ended 2 or away in South Africa. Today is the return leg, and it is uh, highly anticipated that Liberia will defeat the guys from South Africa and still a better chance to go to neighboring articles for next year's Afghan competition. And so watch out, we will bring you all of the happenings. Liberians from all walks of life are making their way here at the complex to cheer the Dalai Long Star to victory. Lone Star all the way. Victory, Lone Star gave us victory. These are songs you hear all across the summer condos post complex. The all of the complex as a matter of fact. Play, Lone Star play. What time you was called? My Lone Star player gave us victory. And so, I here just to pick up all of the happenings. Security is in tight on the all side of the stadium. And of course, um, his Excellency President Weah will arrive here very shortly. As you can see, uh, the entrance is clear. The main route is clear. This is an indication that President Weah and Interaj will be here very shortly. This is Seku Jabata Ulisi. Seku, welcome. How are you today? Former national team player Seku, how are you? Welcome. All right, former national team player Seku Jabate Ulisi just passed our camera. We tried talking to him, but he's in a hurry, and uh, we can't get Seku coming on uh, our camera this afternoon. But nevertheless, we are still here to pick it up. Seku once played for the Lone Star. He played for uh, CSK Moscow in Russia. I recall very well Seku played against Mandalin Real Madrid, and at that match. He was very instrumental against uh, Real Madrid. In fact, he made significant impact against uh, Wonton defender Fabio Contrao. And uh, Seku was the order of the day in Liberia that time from that match. But again, Seku is not into active soccer. Nobody knows why. For how be it, 
we are just here to bring you all of the happenings as far as the march is concerned. And so Liberia will host South Africa. All Liberia is currently hosting South Africa in the second leg of the ongoing African qualifying series. All right, the F41 is here. This is an indication that President Weah is already here. F41, Liberia National Police here. Yeah, you can hear the wheeling of the siren in the background. And that tells you that His Excellency President Weah, the Chief Fisher of Sports, is just around the corridors of the Summer Candles Post Complex in Painesville City. And so our camera is already posted uh, to bring you the arrival ceremony of the president and interact as they make their way into the main stadium. We're just on the outside of the stadium. This is how it looks like. This is the outside of the stadium. Liberians are still out here making sure they uh, make their way into the stadium. All right. Another escort from the presidential. Vehicles from the president's convoy uh, coming in gradually. Escort one was the first to arrive. Following that, another vehicle of the Labra National Police, then followed by. This vehicle of the Executive Protective Service. In fact, this is a second GPS vehicle. And this is an indication that President Weir is already here. And so, welcome from wherever you are joining us, whatever you're doing. This is your prepared online television network, Focus Online, Bureau Online Television. And of course, this is the official uh, motorcade, presidential motorcade of His Excellency President George Manu Weir. Yes, the guys. Are posted, making sure to provide maximum security for the president. Yes. Fleets of vehicles coming in from the rehab end, the home of the president. Making the way into the summer candles post complex in Painesville City, outside Monrovia. There's an ambulance in the president's convoy, followed by other vehicles coming in gradually. Today is D Day, March Day, in Liberia, folks. Liberia first of South Africa. And the heat is on. And so, there you have it, President Weir. And interrush already here. I can say that to you. I can confirm that to you.
Alright, according to my own official time, it's uh, four minutes to four o'clock. And according to reports, the match will start at exactly 4 p.m. Liberian time. And you still have hundreds of Liberian spectators out here still making their way into the stadium. It's a long queue. But they're moving in gradually. I don't know whether everyone out here will have the opportunity to have a glimpse of the match today. I don't know. But all I can say to you is that we still have schools of Liberians on the outside of the complex. And I see my old friend, your brother, Emma Scannon. <laughs> I see Emma Scannon is here. Emma, how are you today? Welcome to Focus on Liberia Online Television. Thank you very much, Joe. I'm happy. I'm delighted. I be here and I'm a beer and so see Labrador like, qualifying to, to Afro Coast. It's been a while, Emma. I haven't seen in a very long time. But let's talk about the game. What's the protection on today? I, my protection for, for today's game is 2 0. 2 0. But I think we need to play hard because until South Africa is coming out, they are coming all out. They, we, 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 we are set up to a two less draw in, in South Africa. So they are not sitting behind, they're going to come out. All right. So all Lusa need to do is to, to ensure that. Uh, we play the football well, you know. I'm a fear here is a goalkeeper. All right. Tony, Tony, Tony uh, he just up on the all. We we'll play Togo here. We need to win to qualify for a national cup. All right. And there's a repeat again. It's the same Tommy to we're going to use in the pool. So I think we need to be very professional. We need to be care very careful. That's why it's the only country all of us are. And I think there's an opportunity for us. For all of us to get on our motor bar, uh, pass through uh, 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 Nima. Go to the bowler and go to, and go to Africa to, work, to see the drop in the nation cup. Great, Emma. You said two goals. Who do you think will be the scorer? The scorer will be one will be uh, our own friend and brother, the high scorer on the team, which is the Wooden Jebel, and, right. the, and the guy who scored the, the, the last goal in, in South Africa. To win Tisdale. Tisdale, yeah. All right, Emma, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. I wish you all the best. I'm asking, I'm asking <laughs> our, our, our friends, if I say something, they're going to come out and support our national team. Great. I think our coming out to support the team today yeah, will help the national team to move on. President, we are just entered a few minutes ago. What do you think we still have scores of supporters out here? You think it will be a free gate? Uh, we're not anticipating to have free gate because there's a test to Liberia. All right. Today, you know, we're not playing. Uh, the national team are not playing for long. So, our game today with Africa is a test to the international to, to, to carve right up. So, we got to be careful. we got to observe the, the, the stadium. We open the stadium now for free gate. People will run in. We don't know what may happen when, when, the, when the team is leaving. So uh, I think it is not, it's not good for all now. The president is only few we are aware. And I think he's a chief president of sport. With the president, the guy's going to buy him, motivated them by, by giving them 50,000 in Azir Ara and promise to get another 100,000 if they win today. So that alone is a motivation for the, for, the, for the team. And I think they will do better, they will do their best so that they can qualify to Africa. To, Thank you. To, 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 to. Thank you, Emma. Thank you for your platform, man. I em appreciate it. Emma Skana is a Liberian civil society activist. And of course, he's been speaking with us. Liberia Lone Star against the Bafana Bafana boys from South Africa. This match promises to be an interesting showpiece. If Liberia wins, I can say this to you for free. Monroe will be outside down today. And so we are hoping that Liberia collects the needed three points. And put smile on our faces on today. Like I told you earlier on, there is no objectivity in soccer. Sports, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so I'm a Liberian, and besides being a journalist, I'm a Liberian, and so I support the Lone Star on today and against South Africa. I support the nation's pride and joy, the Lone Star. And so don't expect it to be objective here today. <laughs> no objectivity in soccer.
If you were to see me now, I'm fully dressed up in my national colors, red, white, and blue. I'm not fully dressed up as a matter of fact, in the national colors. That is to tell you the love for country, the love of patriotism and nationalism. Liberia Lone Star against the Bafana Bafana boys from South Africa. This is the second leg. This is the second leg of the ongoing Afghan qualifying series. Like I told you earlier on, Liberia have not been to the Nations Cup since 2002. The last Nations Cup Liberia participated in was in Mali. During the days of uh, soccer legend, now President George Manawiya. And since 2002 up to present, Liberia has failed to qualify for the continental prestigious tournament. And so let's see how it's going to play out. This time around, can Labrador make the difference? Can Labrador qualify and go next door to La Côte d'Ivoire to form part of uh, other African teams that will be there in Côte d'Ivoire as part of uh, the Continental Tournament? Somebody says that is the million dollar question. But let's see how it's going to play out in the final analysis. Focus on Liberia online television. We are live and direct from the Zenith of Liberian football, the Summer Candles kind of Post Complex in Painesville City, outside Monrovia. Let me just show you the complex. I'm just on the outside of the complex. Over there, you see Summer Candles kind of Post Complex. And uh, I'm told it's getting jam packed to capacity gradually. Liberians were here since morning. And it's uh, already four minutes past four o'clock according to my own official time. I'm sure the match is on at the moment. The first 45 minutes of soccer hostilities have commenced. I'm sure about that. And you see how uh, scores of Liberians, hundreds of Liberians out here still wanting to enter the stadium to cheer they are darling long start to victory against South Africa. I'm sure the support from the fans, from all Liberians today, will give the guys the needed motivation to defeat their opponent. And so just to bring you up to speed once again with the statistics between the two countries, just to give you the record between the two countries, the first meeting was December 16, 2000. Liberia lost to South Africa two goals to one. The second meeting was June 3, 2001. Liberia drew with South Africa one goal apiece. The third one was quite recently, March 24, 2023. They ended two goal apiece. And today, March 28, is the fourth meeting of the two teams. And as it stands, there's no goal to either side. Let's see what happens after the full 90 minutes of play plus extra time. We're hoping that Liberia can turn things around to make all of us proud, to make His Excellency President Weah proud as well. Mind you, President Weah uh, gave the team 50000 for putting out a draw against South Africa at home. And President Weah vowed to give 100000 the United States dollars if the Lone Star secure win today against South Africa. And so somebody said that is a huge challenge. Yes, let's see how it's going to play out. Let's see where the boys can put some smile on our faces today and just make the entire country celebrate. And so if you're there in Nima County, 
following Focus Online, if you're there in Grangina County, if you're there in Maryland County, if you're there around the Nimba Mountain, if you're there in Riverside County, the Yapastown and other areas, if you're there in Bog County, if you're there in Zhengzhou, if you're there in Swakoko, wherever you are watching us, maybe you're there around the Western Belt, you're there in Grand Cape Mount County, you're there in Buffalo, Grand Cape Mount, Bombay County, wherever you are, maybe you're there in Totma Bright, you're there in Clay District, you're there in Central District, from just wherever you are monitoring us. This is Focus Online, Bureau Online Television Network. Somebody said to me in Haiti, I'm here in Bikina, Grand Bassa County. All right, thanks for being there, and continue to follow Focus Online, Bureau Online Television Network. We are the best in terms of our online uh, television service. We second to none, we go places where others can afford to reach. And we're always in the business of giving you all of the best in one package. And so welcome to this live broadcast, live from Pinsville City of Samanovia. This is the Summer Current Dose Post Complex. We're on the outside of it. The city is getting jam-packed to capacity. And very shortly, folks, we'll leave you at this point and rejoin you subsequently, perhaps during the first half or probably at the end of the match. Like my big brother Frank Lobo will say, if you're there in Wawakroho, <laughs> you there in Boji Setan, Riverside County. You there in Yapastan, Riverside County. You there in Compan 2, Compan 3, Compan 1, Grand Bassa County. You be around the Liberia Agriculture Company area. You there in Plebo, Sorokin, District, Maryland County. You there in Rabas Books, Grand Kipma County. Maybe you there in Clay Bombing. You there in Tottenham Break as well. From just wherever you are, you there in Zulu Whiskey, Grand Gita County. You there in Lupa County, Foya, Bonjima, Zonzo. Wherever you are, joining us, welcome to Focus Online, Vera Online Television Network. The heat is on, the sun is up. Crazy soccer fans are trooping into the summer kind of sports complex to create the occasion. A win for Liberia will make all of us proud. And a win for Liberia as well will put them in a comfortable position as far as the qualifying rounds will be concerned. And so we want to leave at this point to join you uh, subsequently. Thanks to all of you for being on. Thanks for sharing the video. Thanks to our hard-working head of operations, Anson this year, who is in the U.S., Minnesota specifically. Thanks to our able and indefatigable chief executive officer, Mr. Dennis Jai, who is in Atlanta, Georgia, the U.S. He's always on our backs to ensure that we update you, the public. He's always on our neck as well to do what is required in terms of our information dissemination. And so, folks, we will not hesitate to do what is right to bring you all of the bits and pieces as far as all of the developments are concerned in Liberia, Africa, and the rest of the world. And so, on that note, I'd like to leave you at this point. Thank you ever so much. I'll rejoin you subsequently. Until then, my name is Theo Williams, bidding you farewell from now. But now, I'm from the Summer Canada Sports Complex in Painesville City of San Manuel. This is the premier hall of Liberian football. Some other city is in it, or the boiling point of Liberian football. So thank you ever so much. We will definitely rejoin you subsequently. Have yourselves a great day for Painesville of San Manuel.